Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to talk about detachment and particularly detachment from the outcome because that will sabotage us from being present in the moment. And a lot of people have goals, a lot of people have desires, a lot of people want something. And then that is completely natural. It's actually the part of our human nature. We only operate based on the two motives, which is the greed and the fear. This completely has, it actually has nothing wrong with you being greedy in terms of like wanting something or wanting to achieve something. However, the idea of greed can go wrong or can be perceived as a negative idea when you want so much and so much and take so much and stop sharing or stop caring about others or about sharing with others. So if you only take for yourself, then that idea of greedy can go wrong. But I want to embrace your greediness. I want to embrace the fact that I have desire, the fact that I want something and I want to achieve something. I want you to embrace it. We go to the supermarket because we want food, because we go to buy shoes, we go buy clothes. So there's a certain level of greediness is actually completely natural and completely healthy. However, when it comes to our life, we have one shot and you should allow yourself to actually want something and to be okay going after what you want because otherwise you have to end up compromising your life and then ending up basically not chasing it and tell yourself like, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's not okay, you have to go for it. And then even if you eventually didn't get exactly what you want, the journey becomes a prize because the greatest prize in all of this lifetime the human experience is that you get to live that life. So with this, uh, let's dive in. I'm sipping coffee, so you should also prepare yourself like a tea or coffee. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this because, you know, I love chasing dreams rather than chasing addictions. And I'm really content every step of the way. But back in the days, I wasn't because I was so attached to the result. I was so attached to this, what I want. And when I'm so caught up with the idea of this goal or achievement, the journey itself starts to fade away and the journey becomes less valuable for me, even though that is the greatest prize that I can ever get from this human life. And it's the gift itself from the God. So how can we actually detach ourselves from it? Because when you're so caught up with this idea of goal and destination, because if you're so caught up and so attached to the result and outcome and all you care about is destination and goal, what happens when you get to the goals? You're gonna be celebrating that, whatever the accomplishment, in a void. And this actually happened the last three years. I constantly was chasing dreams and I wanted to achieve something. And there, there are a lot of goals that I hit. There's a lot of goals that I manifested and things that I wanted. And I have learned that when I was so caught up with the idea and goals and destination, I forgot to live in that present moment, I forgot to enjoy the process, even though at the end of the day, in a deathbed, nothing matters. The vanity just fade away from your face. But if you enjoy the process of going after the every step of the way and embracing the every stepping stone and then take a look and then stop and then looking, like, looking, looking at flowers and smelling the change of the, the season, that's where the beauty stays. Well, even though it's a little bit difficult for us to do so because, you know, we feel constantly the lack of, there's some missing piece because we want something this, we're chasing this. Our mind is like filled with this idea and dream destination. We don't really care about, <clears throat> it's like this. You want to get to the Hawaii, you want to go to Bali or like some beautiful place. Like I've been to Costa Rica and last year and it was beautiful, right? It's so like when on my way, it's, there are two types of people that they don't enjoy the airport, they don't enjoy the journey in an airplane and everything. They're just complaining like, oh, it's just difficult, like, oh, it's uncomfortable. And then they try to enjoy the Hawaii or Costa Rica or whatever. But it's all the same because they'd never be in the present moment, even though they think that when they get to the destination, they don't. They are not in the present moment. Why? Because they were not in the present moment. All of a sudden, you cannot be in the present moment. You cannot do things that you never practice. It's the same thing. If you never practice basketball, you cannot play basketball. Like I've been playing basketball for like 10 years since I was 10 years old to up to 20 years old. 
And the reason why I was so good at playing basketball because I played basketball every single day, I practiced every single day. So for me, it's natural, right? So like if we practice being in the present moment and enjoying every stepping stone while our vision and while we aim high, it allows us to really enjoy the journey. And then that's what the life is about. But as I said, I want you to aim high. I want you to have a vision. I want you to set an intention because the way you can live in the present moment can be different. And what I mean by that is you could just like think nothing and just do nothing, have zero intention and have zero vision. And you can just try to enjoy the present moment. Even though you have so much potential, you can accomplish so many things, you can manifest so many things, and we are allowed to do that, and God is so generous, the universe is so generous, and every single person has the right to, to do so, has the right to manifest a vision and intention. So it's completely up to us. We can just like get rid of all these and live like a monk, and I don't have a desire, I don't desire anything, but live in content. And I think it's a beautiful way to live. But majority of people have desire, majority of people want something to, want to achieve something, whether it's an internal achievement, like being confident, uh, loving ourselves and feeling so liberated, or perhaps you want to achieve X, Y, Z, you want to have massive social media audience or build a business and etc. So in either way, it's completely okay, you have to allow yourself to do so, first of all, but at the same time, you need to practice to be completely detached from it. And by doing so, you learn how to be in the present moment and enjoy it every step of the way. And when you actually are so caught up with the idea and so attached to it, that every single day, you miss all the beautiful things around you, the ordinary things that at the end of the day fulfills you the most. Interestingly, in hindsight, we always look back and then learn everything. And always we look back and journey like, yeah, that was a beautiful story. And then the story is made because you had that journey. And the story is one of the most powerful aspects in speaking and then also in your journey because you get to tell your story to your, ch to your children, to your grandchildren. It's the legacy that will stay alive and then that will be passed to the next generation and then can motivate other people. It can literally impress other people or to give inspiration and somebody might actually take an action and achieve a significant goal because of your story. Because it's funny enough, even though you haven't achieved anything or you haven't achieved that much, let's say, okay, I believe that you have a lot of achievement in your life the last decade or two, but a lot of people want to hold on to the past because that was a beautiful journey, that was a beautiful story. So at the end of the day, what we actually appreciate and then so fulfilled by is the story and the journey. And then we understand that, our brain understands that, and that's how we're designed of. So if you have something that you want to achieve, if you have something that the vision, something that you dreamed of, whether it's a dream version of yourself, or perhaps the project and achievement, go for it. 2024 is about all about that. And I made a video yesterday about how you can be the best version of yourself. And then you cannot achieve anything without changing yourself. You change yourself so that as a reflection that your reality changes. It's a very simple mechanism, but the hard part is that we have to put a lot of effort and time and energy onto changing ourselves. Our internal state changes, external state changes automatically. It is a natural law. So the full focus, 90% of your focus should be your internal state, should be yourself. And as a result, the 10% of the physical actions, 10% of the strategy will also start to change because energetic level you change, you make a change in the energetic level and the spiritual level, the materialistic level and a little bit of the superficial level changes as well. I can enjoy it every step of the way even if, even if, I'm in a downfall. Life has its cycle. Life has always mood, like you know, our emotional mood as well. Like we have ups and downs, but we can always find something. You just it simply can make a smile a little bit, like put a smile or like make us laugh, even if it's nothing is working out, even if something is going to downfall. We can always find the beauty in a bird chipping, or the color of the flower, or somebody else's smile. And that is the key 
to success because the more joyful you are, the higher the vibration frequency you are in terms of like as an energy ball. You're first in the manifestation process, you feel good, everything is just on the positive side. Like it's so interesting that how it's designed, how simple the life is, because that's why some people talk about like don't take life seriously, it's a game. And some people are like, no, life is not a game, it's fucking serious shit. But again, it's, if, if you look at that in a grand scheme of life, it's so little our existence. But when, you, when we look at that worldwide, it's huge, right? So we can have that variety of perspective on it. You can go like, okay, yeah, my life doesn't mean shit. Uh, I shouldn't care about myself. Or, you know, my work isn't as important as the worldwide. But you can also think that, cool, so I'm part of this. So if I change something, the collective consciousness changes. So my work and my energy and my intention actually affects that, the bigger scale of the grand scheme of life. And when you can actually shift your focus and have the perspective that helps you to feel content and to feel happy without attaching to your goals and so called out with that, the small aspect of it, and then as you reach the goal, and then you're gonna be like, what's next? So even if you're right now struggling a little bit, going down for a bit, Find something that puts your smile. Some, find something that nice, beautiful, or funny. Because again, 90% of your focus should be your internal state, should be who you are. Not in a way that is very negative. Like what I mean by that is don't think of yourself because you only care about yourself. That selfishness is literally the wrong version of the selfishness that people think about. A society puts you in idea, puts you as an idea that as a selfishness is that I care about myself. I'm a center of the universe. That's very egotistical. But the actual selfishness is that you help yourself and then you focus on yourself so that you become somebody who can actually help somebody else, who can share happiness because you are happy. So you can share love because you are, you, you are filled with love. So the higher your vibration frequency is, you can affect that positively. And it's scientifically proven. Actually, the positive vibration frequency is 10,000 times stronger than negative uh, vibration frequency. And some says, this is just, you know, hypothetically, some says that's why the existence of God, or Jesus, Buddha, and all these amazing people who lived as a legend or the God, or the symbols, symbolic people, they are still beyond time and space affecting our planet and uni universe in a positive way. And I think, I believe that's true. I think it's a, such a great way to look at it. So again, focus on yourself and detach yourself from whatever you're chasing, whatever you're going after, while you keep aiming and while you keep marching to that direction, because you'll get there. So with the said, we are about to get into 2024 and that is going to be the best year you can ever imagine and claim it, manifest it, but you need to focus on 90% of your life, 90% of yourself and focus on your internal self, focus on raising vibration and then you're going to get what you want in 2024. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Ciao. Live your life like a movie.